is usually honor to God, right? Yes, sir. That's right. And uh, let me just say, um, our guys did a great job today on the defensive end. That's what I've been preaching to them, and uh, I thought they did a, a, a very good job. I mean, when we disciplined, yeah, you're going to have some breakdowns every once in a while because you're dealing with, with a lot of people that are in a learning phase. But beyond that, I thought, you know, we did a very good job on the defensive end, and we finally hit some shots. When you hit some shots, you can win basketball games. And uh, we hit some shots. And, you know, I thought Tim in the second half came out and was a different human being. You know, he took some shots. <laughs> and then all of a sudden that game changed. And uh, But I thought the defense stayed constant. And it's pretty evident because we held them to 33%. So that's that means we're doing a good job there. Questions for the student athletes? Brandon, uh, what was your reaction when you found out you were going to start tonight? Um, I was happy. But I just really wanted to win. Anything, so that's all that really matters. Could you talk about the first half? You usually guys usually fall, uh, fall trail early, then you always trying to catch up in the second half. You talk about the first half. Right? Yeah, I think I think we put a greater emphasis on coming out with more energy. In some of the games we come out, we've lacked uh, an intense start. And so we put ourselves in a hole. So I, I think for the past week, we've been trying to focus on, you know, bringing an intensity in the beginning of the game that we usually come out with in the second half and starting off a game where we're not in the hole. Was there uh, not, 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 not a trying, trying to figure out urgency, having lost a league game uh, and, and you're at, and you're at home to protect the home court? And, and, some urgency to do that because the first first few minutes you're up eight nothing and, and it looked like you were in the game. Yeah, uh, uh, you know it's definitely something you have to protect your home court. Uh, it's big in our league. You got to win, take care of winning your games at home. Um, so we we've, we've had to focus on that and uh, also like I said, just trying to bring an energy that we haven't had at the start of every game. Um, I wouldn't say it's, it was a uh, urgency because you know it's a, it's a long conference, but feels good to get on the wing column. Brent, what's the biggest difference between the first game you played uh, in your college career and the last one, this one right here? Um, for sure, confidence. I'm more confident with the ball. I'm not really nervous, that nervous anymore. <clears throat> and just, we got more chemistry now. I feel like we know each other a little bit more. Any other questions for Tim or Brent? Thanks, guys. I have a question. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the hat. That's the hat. Oh, hi. Uh, have you ever not had a lot of confidence in your shot? I mean, it looks like, if you don't mind my inter interjecting, I was telling somebody on the bench today, I bet when this kid was in sixth grade, he was jacking that ball up all the time. Have you always <laughs> liked this? Jacking it up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good so this is, this, is, this is something, Coach. <laughs> Coach Waters has had to ingrain in you. You just no, not at all. <laughs> I didn't think so. Um, what's the best thing about scoring? Oh, scoring? Yeah. What's the help best thing about win? Huh? You know you're helping your team win. Uh, points on the board. I think the biggest thing is if you have a bad game where you score, you most likely feel like you didn't help your team do anything, and so you take it upon yourself to try and you know lift the team because basically everything we focus on is around winning, and so. Yeah, I mean, you can see a lot of guys with seven points, six points, you know, we want everybody to score. We don't care who takes uh, the high score of the game, whatever that is. We just want to get some wins. Anything else for these two? How comfortable Take. are you with your defense, Brent? Um, I need to get a lot better. I mean, I'm still learning. I feel like, I don't know, I can get a lot better. I know that. <laughs> Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thank Coaches you. For Coach. Thank you. Coach, can you talk a little bit about what Tim said in reference to the energy right away at eight nothing? Like, did you yeah, feel well, a little bit different? Was it? A well, little we had different? three. We had three great practices, and, and, and I knew eventually, you practice that hard and that well, something's good got to come out of something. I mean, I, I, I'm a believer in that, and uh, I also felt that putting Brandon in the lineup was a big change because we had a, that brought a threat to the lineup. We didn't. For the, we were trying to find that threat, and uh, well, why wasn't he in the lineup early? He wasn't playing defense the way we wanted. But we had to have a balance here. We said that you know either we we give up the defense or we give up the offense. So 
we, uh, but you know, we, we offset it with Sebastian in the game playing defense, and that helps. So, you know, and, and what I'm trying to do is establish a consistent lineup. You know, last six games, not last six, and you count this one, this is number seven. Seven games, you know, we've played and uh, we've had a different lineup every game. Different lineup every game. Now, this is, now, because we won, we can at least keep this lineup for two games. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, um, I know you love defense, but, um, you know, you had mentioned various, after many games this year, that there were some concerns you had about points. And I was kiddingly asked Brent if he ever didn't like shooting. But you need somebody who wants the ball, wants to shoot. Wants to shoot, And, yeah. and um, Greg said a note out during the game, this is nine of his last ten games, Brent's in double figures. That's pretty darn good for a freshman. Oh, is this kid the real thing? I mean, can is he a legitimate Division One score, or is this just an anomaly? Well, it's, hear me, he played on a high school team. <clears throat> that uh, for two straight years probably lost one or two games and they were the best team in the state. And uh, he had two players that went, went high, high level division one. One went to Iowa and one went to uh, Michigan State. And uh, very good basketball players. However, during those two years, Brent was the leading scorer <laughs> each year. So what can, I mean, who would you, uh, you know, reference point? Is he like uh, uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to think of kids you've had here who've been who've been good scorers. Can well, he's you compare him to anybody? He's a little different. He's not like uh, Trey because Trey was just a jump shooter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he would he would, I mean he would drive when the opportunity would come up. Um, Bren understands when a guy approaches him, he can take that person to the basket. Uh, the thing is, next level of teaching has got to be where if they. Converge on him, he can make that next pass because he can't do that right now. If he goes to the basket, his shoot is going up. You can put money on it, it's going up. So, but, but you don't mind that with this kid? Pardon? You don't mind that? Oh, not at all. Not at all. Because you, know, you, you, you can't take everything away from him. It's, it's a learning state for him. You had a situation where you had Sebastian at the high post on the line, and when the ball went through him, good things happened. That's against the zone. And, and uh, against the zone where we use it, we call it flash, a guy flashes into that middle post. And uh, it's usually a post guy. But we have changed that. We're, we put a guard in there and we look because he can make a pass to our shooters. You know, if I put Tim there, you know, he's having a hard time handling and doing it. So we put Tim where he can he can better serve us by on the outside shoot. Catch and shoot. Yeah. Was, was with Forbes, is that, did it, what, what click that told you it was time? To go, to go to that, or was it just something that... No, no, we had to have another score in there. We, the last game really helped us, because when we played that last game, I realized, you know, we were down, what was that, 12-1? 12-1, then we couldn't score. And I sat there and I said, I said well, we got to do something about this. So immediately we inserted uh, Bryn and Junior into the lineup, and, we, we, and the score was 10-12. to 12. So that told me something right then that, you know, we have to get one of those guys in there in the offensive line. And I wanted to put Junior, but see, we're not as quick with Junior in there. So what I said, what I'm going to do with this is put Brent in there and Brent shoot it, and I just have to take the hits on defense. 60 isn't a lot of points, but it's the most against a Division One opponent in, in many, many games. Brent, well, we could have scored more today, though. We but but this is the most today. since in, in a long time. Well, and I think we will score more. I, I think we could have scored more today. We were just, we were playing cautious. You ever play a game where, you know, we're playing cautious not to lose? And, and, I, and I told them they got to take the ball to the basket. And, uh, but it's a learning phase. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, guys. Thank